How to start an online business in Uganda. Starting an online business in Uganda requires the same diligence as starting any other business. In many ways, the internet has leveled the playing field for small business owners everywhere. Online businesses are relatively easy to start, without the kind of upfront costs a brick and mortar business demands. However, this ease doesn't mean starting a successful online business is a walk in the park. Now let us look at the steps taken to start an online business in Uganda. Step 1. Do market research on your online business idea. Just because it's easier to start an online business in Uganda doesn't mean no costs are involved. As with a physically based business, the first step to take with your online business is to assess your idea's feasibility. The most brilliant business idea can be unsuccessful if your product or service has no market. Even if you've hit on the solution to a problem that plagues many people, you're just throwing money away if the problem turns out to be one that most people don't care enough about to spend time or money solving. By carrying out market research, you help rule out whether your business will be successful or not. With this in mind, you need to evaluate your idea. The following are just a few of the questions you need to ask yourself. Does your product or service solve a problem that enough potential customers have? Does your product or service provide a cost-effective solution to that problem? Are people willing to spend money to solve the problem? How costly will it be to reach the people needing the solution your product or service offers? Step 2. Build a business plan. Once you know your idea is feasible, it's time to develop a comprehensive business plan. Though it can be used to get funding for your business, your business plan can help you spot any potential difficulties your business may face and also help you plan for future growth and profitability. Your market research gives you a good base from which to develop your business plan, and multiple resources are available online to help you put together the core elements of a solid plan. Step 3. Choose a business name. Choosing your business name is an essential step in the startup process. Because your business will primarily function online, your chosen name must be available for registration as a business name in your state and within the digital space. This means you will need to check whether the name you want is available as a business name in your state. Domain name. Username on each of the social media platforms you plan to use. If your chosen name isn't available as a domain name or social media username, consider different permutations of the name, and remember that many domain name extensions beyond the original .com are available. Additionally, it's important to check that your name and domain name aren't impinging on any registered trademarks. Step 4. Decide on your business structure. The business structure you choose will dictate the legal and tax requirements you need to meet. Most small business owners choose from the following structures. Sole proprietorship. This is the simplest business structure, but its lack of limited liability offsets its simplicity. Partnership. While this business structure might appeal to you if you are embarking on your venture with a partner, your liability is unlimited like a sole proprietorship. Limited Liability Company, LLC. An LLC offers limited liability without the additional complexity of incorporation, making it one of the most popular small business structures. Corporation. Like an LLC, a corporation provides limited liability, and while it's more complicated to set up and maintain, it may be a good choice depending on your circumstances. It's always a good idea to consult with an attorney to determine the appropriate business structure for your new business. Because each structure has different tax requirements, you may also want to consult a tax professional. Step 5. Get the required licenses. Like a brick and mortar business, you will need to file all the appropriate business formation documents and other paperwork to ensure your new business has a solid legal foundation. This includes registering your business with the appropriate government authorities, obtaining all the required permits and licenses, meeting all federal and state tax requirements, such as applying for state and federal tax ID numbers. Again, it's often helpful to consult with an attorney with experience in business startups in your particular industry to make certain you're on the right track. Step 6. Build your online store or address. An online business's website is as essential as the physical location of a brick and mortar company, and you should put as much care into this part of the startup process as you would if you were location and lease shopping. When looking at how you will build your website, consider available payment processors. For many online businesses, hiring a website developer to help build your site makes sound business sense. 
The web host you choose is an important consideration as well. You can have a top-notch website, but it will do you no good if your host has too much downtime or if the speed of browsing your site is too slow. In addition to checking out reviews online, consider asking your personal other online business owners, in particular, who can provide invaluable information about a web host's reliability. Depending on the products or services you'll be offering, you will also need to evaluate and choose your sources of supply and inventory, as well as how you will deliver your product or service to your customer. Again, several options are available. Given the importance of having inventory on hand, or an excellent on-demand provider, and a reliable method of fulfillment, spending adequate research time on this aspect can mean the difference between success and failure. For more on how to build an online store, I have left a link in the description below. Step 7. Launch your business. You may or not make a grand opening for your online business. While you won't be cutting the ribbon, the way you might with a physical business, you'll be doing so metaphorically when you make your website live and announce to the world that you're open for business. This announcement can be made in a variety of ways, including social media platforms, your email list, online ads, traditional ads. During the launch phase, you will reap the benefits of the work you did during your pre-launch marketing. Step 8. Market. Promote your online business. Whereas starting an online business is easy, getting a real customer is hard. As an owner of an online business in Uganda, you just market your business. Big online businesses in Uganda, Jumia, GG, put in millions of money to keep their customers updated about their presence. There are plenty of ways to market your online business they include the following, Google ads, TV adverts, newspaper adverts, radio adverts, word of mouth. Much money will go here in marketing your online business but it is all worth it. That is all that is required to start an online business in Uganda. If you are ready to start one, I encourage you to go ahead.